As Marines, we stand on the shoulders of giants, those Marines who have gone before us. The 3rd Marine Division has a rich history and a legacy of valor that the current Marines and sailors of the division are charged with upholding. It is our duty and our honor to follow in the footsteps of those who have belonged to the roles of the Fighting 3rd throughout its history. I believe that history gives us the opportunity to learn from the past. Reading about our predecessors gives us a glimpse of their courage, their decision-making processes, their reasoning, and their leadership. We must learn from those who have gone before us, especially those who serve this division and our nation in times of conflict, like the war in Vietnam. There is no shortage of Marines who have exemplified our division's values of fidelity, valor, and honor. As we commemorate Vietnam Veterans Day on March 29th, Marines like General Lewis Walton come to mind. Born in Kansas and commissioned as an officer in the United States Marine Corps, he served in China in 1937. He would go on to serve in World War II as a captain with the legendary 1st Marine Raider Battalion at Tulagi Island, where he was awarded the Silver Star for risking his life under heavy enemy machine gun and sniper fire to save the lives of his men. He would go on to earn two Navy crosses during other battles in World War II, solidifying his legend within the Corps. During the Vietnam War, General Walt commanded the 3rd Marine Division during the first year of that conflict. He would go on to command the 3 Marine Amphibious Force, and by the end of the war, was the Assistant Commandant of the Marine Corps. The 3rd Marine Division fought for five continuous years in Vietnam. Pictured on these walls, are the heroes of the division who we remember today. Thousands of brave men and women have served with the 3rd Marine Division during its history. We learn from them, we draw inspiration from them, and we remember them today and every day.